Okay everyone, welcome back again to another Fox Tech video. This time we talk about the iPad. As you can see very clearly on the screen right now, the topic is how to check location settings on iPad. Well, of course, make sure at first to locate at the actual settings icon. If you cannot find it on the dock or on the home screen, just swipe all the way to the right to the app library and you can find it very easily on the list. So you're going to be able to find it. Uh, under the uh, S, obviously. So open up the settings and on the left side, you have the uh, like sections and scroll down to find privacy and security. So when you go in here, the very first thing at the top is location services. And it tells me that it is turned on because it is. I have the uh, location settings enabled. So when I click on it, I can turn it off if I want. And there are mul multiple different things which go into this, right? So you can uh, disable it altogether with this one toggle and it's going to be turned off entirely however it's much better to customize it specifically right so if you scroll down you have all of the apps and you may decide that some apps like google maps for example can have access to your location while you use them this is uh, probably reasonable in my opinion or also weather it would be fine as well but some random apps like um i don't know like calendar or booking or some something else you may or may not use it like it's up to you for example a notes app in my personal opinion doesn't need to have access to my location it's okay but if you need that as some kind of synchronization or some of the features which work with the location just click on it like this and turn it on make sure to ask the next time you need to share it or allow it always or only while using the app so it's up to you to decide but this is essentially how you can change the location settings at the bottom, we have the system services, which you can also click on and another set of toggles are going to appear in front of you, right? So, for example, you might turn on the location for setting the time zone, which I think you should have turned on, of course, or share my location suggestions, or you can also check out if you want to have it for the Compass, Apple Pay identification or device management, uh, emergency calls, and many different things. For example, you can also turn off or on the iPad analytics, routing and traffic, improving maps, status bar icon. So this is also very useful. If you keep it turned on, you're going to have the icon for location shown in the status bar whenever it's used. So a gray one indicates that an item has used your location in the last 24 hours. And the purple one indicates that it has used your location recently. You can disable it. So many different settings for location. As I say, you can also check out some location alerts. So show map in location alerts or share my location. It's up to you to decide. So there is a lot of things. And if you have a lot of apps, many settings to go through. However, make sure to go through them one by one on your own and decide what's important and what's not. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, leave a thumbs up, subscribe below to the Fox Tech YouTube channel, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out until then.